Hey everyone! Ever since I got a MacBook Pro, I wanted one of those stickers that you put on the back that partially covers the little lit up apple and uses that to create an interesting design. Of course, I could just go online and buy one for pretty cheap. I mean, they're everywhere. But I kind of wanted something more unique and I already had the materials to make one, so I figured why not? And of course, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of your own just in case there's somebody out there like me who would prefer making their own. So let's get started. You'll need a pencil, paper, vinyl contact paper. I'm using some black vinyl that I had purchased for my sketchbook that I made a while back. Clear contact paper. I had a bunch of this lying around from when I used some on a window to make it look faux frosted. A sharp exacto knife and a card like a credit card or something similar. I used my library card. On your laptop, place the paper and then use your pencil to make a rubbing so that you know exactly how big and where the lit up area will be. From there, you can sketch out whatever imagery you want. Cut a piece of vinyl to size, rub some pencil lead onto the back of the sketch, place the sketch onto the vinyl, and then trace your design to transfer it. Cut out your design with the X-Acto knife. You want to try to cut the vinyl only, leaving the backing untouched, but it's not the end of the world if you accidentally go all the way through. It'll just make some of the upcoming steps a little more of a pain than it should be. Anyway, once you've cut everything, peel away the negative space of the sticker. Cut a piece of contact paper to size, peel away the top, and then stick it to the top of the vinyl. Peel the backing off the contact paper away as you stick it down to the vinyl using your card to press the contact paper into the vinyl. Clean the area where you'll be placing the sticker. Remove the contact paper from the backing, taking the vinyl with it. Carefully place the sticker. Stick one edge down and use the card to help press it down as you go. This helps to prevent air bubbles. Also make sure that you're putting the sticker down where you want it. I miscalculated and I was off a tiny bit, so I had to carefully peel it away and shift it around. This isn't ideal because you can rip the vinyl and because once you peel the sticker away, the adhesive isn't as strong anymore. Anyway, once it's all stuck down, peel the contact paper away and you're done. If you all enjoyed this week's video, if you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, or Snapchat, and I'll leave the information to those down below. Thank you to my patrons who helped me make this video. If you want to become a patron or want to learn about what Patreon is, then I'll leave a link right here and you can go check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you next week.